Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. I received a package from TID Radio with some accessories for your TDH3 and TDH8. Now, they won't just work on that radio, but we can get them to work on many others, and I'll show you what they are right after this. Three items they sent over was a 15-inch antenna, this hand mic, as well as a bullet antenna. You can take a look at these on the TID Radio accessory page. For the microphone, you can see it's $12.99. If you order two, then it's $19.99. Save you a little bit of money. If you want just the standard everyday mic, then it's $6.99. They don't say too much about it on the website here. But it does seem to... People seem to like it. The 15-inch antenna, you can either get it for GMRS or ham radio. They also even have an aviation version. You can get a five pack. That goes for $9.99. And they are SMA female. And they say it'll, uh, the 2.15 DBI will get you up to 30% extra distance. Saying it's flexible. From here, if you've lost your stock antenna that came with the radio, you can order those again. They say they have a 30 day, kind of no questions asked re refund or return. And it can handle up to 10 watts of power. And here it shows all the different radios that you can use on this. Now, the 805 bullet antenna, the 399 is for a two pack, it looks like. And they do show you what the difference is between theirs and a forgery one, a fake one. It is a way to keep your radio very low profile. They say it'll handle 10 watts. And again, it has the 2.15 or 3.0 dBi. SMA female again. And it gives you a list of all the radios it'll work on. The second antenna they sent me is a bullet antenna. The TD805S Mini. Again, it's an SMA female antenna. The range it covers is 136 to 174 and 400 to 470 megahertz. The gain, it's the same as the 15 inch. 2.15 dBi and 3.0 dBi depending if you're on 2 meter or 440. The length is about 2 inches at 1.96, and it is currently selling for $399. The $399 price tag is for a 2-pack. At the time of filming, the HM060 is going for $12.99. It does have, underneath this flap, you can plug in an extra earpiece. It does have a 360 rotatable clip. And the cord is about three feet long, uses the K1 style plug, which can be used with any of the TID radios or any Baofeng UV5R, pretty much any Chinese radio out there, it'll work. One of the antennas they sent me is the TD771. It's an SMA female, 15.15 inches. Now they're saying it has a 2.15 and a 3.0 dBi gain. The frequencies it'll work on are 136 to 174 megahertz and 400 to 480 megahertz. At the time of filming, it is going for $3.99. And if you have any radio out there, including FT4X, as well as the Yaesu FT65. Well, there's no issue using the 15 inch antenna from inside my Faraday cage house. The little bullet antenna, the 805S, is a little more of an issue with that. However, when using it outside, not a problem. It works great. Since I basically live in a Faraday cage, thanks to the stucco, I'm going to go ahead and try this 15-inch antenna on the TDH3 and see if I can hit a repeater that's a number of miles away. WJ6F testing. Well, as you can see, it does work. 
I had no problems with how any of these products performed, and it's really hard to pass them up considering the speaker mic is only $12.99, and each one of the antennas goes for $3.99 each. One of the things I really liked about the bullet antenna, the TD-805S, if you're trying to make a low-profile radio or use it when you're in close proximity to someone else, this can't be beat, considering some other companies, they charge upwards of $50 for theirs. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos. And again, thanks for watching.